Uh, well, my dad was in the military when I was a kid, so I moved around a lot. Um, but I went to middle school and high school in Philadelphia. And then, uh, you know, I lived in Germany for many years when I was a kid, when my dad was in the military. And uh, I've just been kind of pretty nomadic my whole life. Yeah, it's like, it's like uh, perfectly made for a poker player, right? Mm -hmm. I, I remember my parents moving me from England to Wales. So we're still landlocked here, to put it into perspective. Um, but it was a different country, didn't know anybody, had to leave all my friends behind. I found it really difficult. Um, what was it like for you moving from place to place, not being able to yeah, sustain relationships? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely very difficult. And this is pre-internet, you know, days. So, like, I've lost touch with basically everybody I knew before middle school. Uh, just because, you know, maybe when you'd leave, move to a new place, you get a little piece of paper with an address, and that address might be good, or the, that telephone number might be good for some time, but then, you know. And we're also young then as well, aren't we? So it's not like we can just, oh, we'll see you in a minute, I'm just going to jump on a plane. We are kind of like, we have to do what our, what our parents want us to do, like, you know. Um, uh, any siblings? Yeah, I have a brother and a sister. Close? Yeah. And um, are you... The eldest, youngest, and the, the middle? eldest. You're the eldest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. Was that? Does that mean you was a favorite? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe it was a bit more pressure. I don't know. Uh, I was yeah, totally I, favorite. I don't think there was any any favorites. So what about what about poker then? You said that, that you know you could talk about some poker instances where you've had to face adversity and get over it. Um, let's go down that route a little bit. What what have been the really difficult times in poker. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, as with anybody that's been playing as long as I have, you have huge bankroll swings and, uh, you know, it took me, it took me quite a long time to get to the point where like I wasn't always on the cusp of being broke. Like I thankfully always had people around me like Ike Haxton and Scott Seaver, Justin Bonomo and, you know, a ton of other, I could go way down the list of mm. all the people that I was around in the early days of online that kept motivating me and kept telling me like, hey, you know, you should go play this tournament or, you know, I, I want to take a piece of you in this. Like, so that, you know, always kept me happy to, you know, wake up in the morning and be like, all right, well, you know, I'm not do so doing so well myself, but people still believe in me and uh, I'm going to get back out there and try again. Are you the type of person who needs that? You you know you need somebody to show faith in you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's helps a lot, and thankfully, it's it's the faith is still there. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, um, I more enjoy having like, you know, some people in the background whispering that I'm, you know, washed up or, uh, <laughs> you know, or I was never good in the first place. You know, I just have a long list of people in my head that I never forget that over the years, dating all the way back to like playing a $3 rebuy in 2004 with uh, Matt Vengren, Plattsburgh, who was, you know, I was, like a $3 rebuy was huge stakes for me. And I remember mm. him berating me in that, you know, there's a very long list of people over the years that, uh, you know, have said some derogatory things about me. And I love the motivation that gives me. Um, I really appreciate it. Yeah, Jason. Especially because, like, I'm not the kind of person that just goes out there and, uh, you know, I very, very rarely have interviews. I, I turn down 99% of interview requests, specifically because I don't want to end up in a situation where I feel compelled to badmouth someone, um, especially about their poker game specifically. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just very bad taste and dumb for your bottom line. Um, if you think someone sucks, you should keep your mouth shut. And, and that comes from being on the, the other end of that. Yeah, yeah. And, but I love to hear it. Uh, I love hearing about how people uh, think I don't have it. 